Hello. Hello. Welcome. Today I'm going to talk about my recent install of a uh, M.2 drive, this 970 Evo, and also GTX 1660 Ti. This video is by no means a tutorial. It's only to show what I did to get this card liquid cooled. I don't recommend that anyone else does it because it's really not the correct way to do it. I'm sure someone will come up with that eventually, but I did water cool it. So remember, if you like this video at any time, smash the button and enjoy it. Okay, here's the side of my rig here. Um, I'm going to be installing an M.2 drive. Probably maybe not enough room to film it, um, but we'll see. I know. Look at horrible. It's so horrible. Uh, you can call this case custom. That's how you fit a rat in. Just jigsaw it out. <laughs> I did the same thing actually on this uh, graphics card adapter because, oh, can you see it? There's just, there's a plug in the way, see it down there? And uh, I had to cut it out to get to it. Oh, it needs a little bit of cleaning, I believe I'm going to clean it more uh, when I put the graphics card in. Because to be honest, I don't really have any compressed air at the moment, and um, I really just want to get the M.2 drive in. And that's going to go right there. Should be good. We lit it. We lit up in here. Yeah, I think so. I think, <laughs> I think you're... All right. Let's see what we can do here. I don't know. I guess on top of it. Yeah, I guess that's it. Look at how nice that looks in there. All right. So pretty. Yeah. And then this kept happening. So I decided to clean it. This is going to be the start of, uh, of me refiguring this rig. I need some help. I just took out the old 770 graphics card. Um, I tried to clone the SSD to an M.2. I cloned it twice, two different programs, uh, boot problems with each. So we did a fresh install. And uh, the old SSD, now formatted, ready to use for storage. <clears throat> and uh, it's time to clean this thing a little bit. Let's see what we can do. Heard something fall. Must be extra parts. I have this all-in-one NZXT 240 with a push-pull configuration going to all-in-one uh, pump and controller. Look at the shit on the radiator, man. Hey, look it. There I am. Hey. <laughs> Blew everything out. Swap these fans. These now are all exit fans. Um, don't mind these wires. They're just waiting for a GPU install. Yeah, so that's also an exit in the back there. And then up here, what was that? This big 220, I think it is. Um, yeah, this is going to be an intake fan. So I'm hoping that by this pushing air down <clears throat> to where these components are here, you know, the RAM's here and these 
VRMs and stuff, or whatever's on the board around there, like in the 970 Evo. Freshly installed for that. So the front of this case had a big 220, like that fan up there, <coughs> on the front of here, and I didn't, I, I wanted to put um, 240 in, see? Yeah. So I wanted to do that, so I ended up having a Swiss cheese hold this front here, uh, only where the, you know, curve of the fan is pretty much, uh, made two more mounting holes there. So this, I believe, I, it's been a while, but I think this cage went all the way down. This was inside of it, actually, I know that. Uh, I think there was two of these. And then this came down to maybe maybe here-ish. Um, so what I ended up doing was uh, I just a little custom, little custom job here. Um, little jigsaw. It's not even straight. <laughs> I'm not sure if I care enough to fix it, but yeah. So I had a fan in there. Um, I took that fan out. All right, so. We're gonna boot it up. Now we're gonna see what happens. And the M.2. So that's good. I got all that working finally. This was such a pain, but everything is there. So this is the new M.2 drive. <coughs> this drive is the my old hard drive. And then this one is the old operating system. SSD, which is now just blank. I got nothing. It's ready to rock. Okay, so I put it back together. I can't put this top piece on because the fan is just too high. There's some old stuff here. Does it work? Nope. But I do like to be reminded. So this is what the pre- warranty sticker damaged <laughs> air-cooled um, GTX 1660 Ti from MSI looks like. Okay, this is where we're currently at. Um, I just upgraded the M.2 drive up there. This is the 1660. I'm about to take it out and see if we can all in one water cool it. Water cool it, liquid cool it? I don't know, either way. So this is the tear down of the NZXT Kraken all-in-one water cooler system with a G12 bracket from same company, NZXT. And I did have this on my 770 for about a year and a half. Worked good, kept it cool. My primary game is World of Warcraft, and I could run it full raid, whatever I wanted to, and it didn't go above 48C. I guess it maybe it hit 50s, 52, 54, maybe 56 once, but really not much at all. It did a really good job. So I'm going to see if I can get it to work on the new card. I haven't seen anybody else do it yet. I'm going to attempt to. No. <clears throat> I can see how my all-in-one was connecting uh, and touching with the thermal paste. I mean, it was on all of it. It definitely was. I mean, look at this. Uh, get these wires here. You see that? Is it going to adjust? Yeah, check it out. So the problem uh, that I had while putting this on last time was right here, right here, 
right there and right down there. There was four little tabs that stuck in a little bit. I had to cut those off for the all-in-one to sit down and actually be touching the chip. Because uh, when I first ran it, it definitely wasn't. The temps were horrible. <clears throat> I don't know what they were, but I remember that it was bad. This is a brand new MSI GTX 1660 Ti uh, Ventus XS OC edition. So the problem really that I'm having is that uh, I primarily play World of Warcraft, right? So it's not a ridiculously drawing game from the system but it does need you know a decent amount so problem is I put this card in stock and um, it shoots right up it goes right up to like 67 Celsius and uh, I don't like that because I was gaming before at like 48 um, and I, you know, I'm pretty sure it was because of the all-in-one. <clears throat> so what I want to do is see if this card looks like that card. And, uh, and go from there. I broke the warranty sticker. No going back now. Oh. That was relatively easy. I think that causes a problem. Um, at least with cooling these, because the fan goes over on this side. Well, there is a nice little heat sink going through here like that, but... Ah, oh, shit. Well... <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> can you see that? I can't even see where the camera's pointing. Right there. Okay. So, obviously, with these the way they are, um, I can't water cool the card. with this adapter the way that it is. Okay, so basically where we're at is I kind of hacked this thing enough um, to get it on there, to get it flat. Um, the problem is, I guess over here on this side, um, if you can see under there, yeah. So I'm assuming it's the VRMs that are they're right under there. But this fan being on the side, I mean, it may catch the port and cool it a little, but uh, I don't really know. Plus, there was four on the right and two on the bottom. Uh, and you can see on the stock cooler, the four pads are here, uh, but there's nothing down here. The other two were probably around here, so they weren't even touching this thing at all. And this, you can see, is raised up over here. Uh, this is what was over all of this stuff back here. So it's not touching it anyway. So, new thermal paste, and what I use Arctic Silver 5. So we got that. It should be flat now. And now it's time to take out the rear fan and mount it all in. Here we are. I did a lot of finagling, if that's the right word. Um, 
some drilling but you know what and i don't know exactly how this is going to work if it's going to be good or not that fan's hanging off the end i'm hoping it's catching enough to hit those vrms if that's what they are um but we're in there i got my adapter and then the rad and the 140 for um a push configuration we got the nx nzxt all in one cracking under there and right now we're idling well let me say first of all it was idling at about 56 degrees when i first put it in and uh i'm kind of a beast so i think i over tightened the screws and just you know got all that thermal compound right out from in between so i took it apart took it all back out uh reapplied the thermal paste and it seems to be idling at 28 C right now. I figured I would get a shot of what this looks like with the bracket on. Um, there's obviously nothing on this side uh, besides that built in heat sink to help any of that cool. Um, I don't know if that needs help cooling or not. I guess if. Uh, car dies we'll find out that we needed cooling <laughs> on that part before we go over any of these numbers i just want to state that there is no sponsorship involved here uh this is all my own stuff that i purchased this is my personal rig this is all just my experience with upgrading these parts and like i said in the beginning i don't recommend anybody do anything that i did but have fun with your stuff and see what you can get done now check these numbers out. So at the end of the video here, I just wanted to go over this list. This is just stuff that I jotted down as I was changing the system out periodically. As you can see with my CPU, uh, the stock versus overclocked. Um, the CPU, I actually, you can see at the GPU part, I bumped it down to 4.2 because it just wasn't it was acting up <laughs> so we had to back it off a little but you could see all these numbers how they were really bad they improved to be pretty good i find it weird though on the gpu i had a the lowest cinebench score was on the 1660 brand new out of the box could have been a fluke i don't know but um the new one is much better much nicer after i went through the settings in the game everything runs smooth i'm very happy with everything i did hack a pretty good amount of this computer and now i'm pretty happy with where it's at i'd like to step up the cpu i guess i think this board is a z97 usb 3.1 i'm pretty sure it can hold a fifth gen fourth and fifth so maybe I'll look at that. I don't really know. I know I can get a 4790K, which has better thermals, I've heard. But who knows? That's the future. Right now, this is put together. This is looking good. Thanks for staying this whole time and checking it out. If you could, subscribe. And I hope to bring you some more good content in the future. Peace.